This video is only for those who can really focus on their life and trying to improve. This is how you build confidence. Listen to this lady for about four minutes and really think about it. And if you have to come back, do it again. I know you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. If you commit to it, you can do this. Confidence is one of the most beautiful things you can wear. A lot of people think that confidence is all about knowing that everyone sitting in the audience or people around you appreciate you or admire you. But I'd like to disagree because my definition of confidence is slightly different. To me, confidence is all about acknowledging that even if no one admires you or appreciates you, you're still going to be okay. Well, a lot of you have asked me and requested me to share some tips and tricks about becoming more self-assured and more authentic when you are expressing your true authentic self with the world. In today's video, I'm going to share two major elements which can really help you in becoming more self-assured and more authentic. Number one, be fluent when you speak. Fluency in any language comes with a lot of practice. And honestly, to me, the more fluent you are, the more authentic you sound. I was very lucky to have amazing teachers who really helped me in becoming fluent when I speak. I know not everybody is lucky enough, but trust me, even in today's time and age, it's very much possible. Number two, confidence is very important. It's the key. You can win hearts by being confident. But again, confidence doesn't happen overnight and nobody was born confident. We all learn from our mistakes and those lessons make us more confident and more self-assured. There is this very interesting incident that I'm going to share with all of you. Well, back in school days, my teachers were sort of impressed by me because they thought that I'm very fluent and I'm very confident and I should participate in debate competition. I was a bit reluctant, but when I looked at my teachers because they had such high hopes for me, I couldn't say no. So. I ended up participating in a debate competition. But honestly, instead of focusing on how could I give my best, I was only concerned about will I be able to meet my teacher's expectations? Or will I be able to impress everyone sitting in the audience? Well, and the final day came and there I was up on the stage. And all those fears of will I be able to impress the audience, that really weighed me down. I could not say a single word on that day. I was standing there blank, looking at the audience, confused, nervous, heartbroken, and I just said, I'm sorry, I can't do this. And I left the stage. I could not impress everyone. I could not impress my teachers, nor the audience. I left the stage. I went back home and I cried my eyes out and I kept asking myself, where did I go wrong? What did I do wrong? And I exactly knew what I did wrong. Instead of focusing on how can I impress the world or how will I be able to meet all those high hopes that teachers had, I should have focused on myself. I should have focused on how could I give my 100% to sound more authentic and more genuine when I was speaking. I didn't do that. That incident was basically the most defining moment of my life. Because in that moment, I redefined the word confidence. That day I realized that I am not there to impress the world. I am not there to impress my teachers nor my friends. I am doing what I'm doing because I have to impress myself. And if I know that I can give my best, nothing can stop me. So, if you want to be confident, know yourself, know your worth. And the more you know yourself, the more you know about your truth, the more authentic, the more confident, the more fluent you will sound. So be fluent, be confident.